We came to Africa 10 years ago to solve the needs and to address the problems. One of the needs and problems we found was the severe trauma being caused by carrying these heavy, heavy, heavy jerry cans on the women's heads and by their arms. Getting water in the States just means getting out of bed and going to the tap and, and in your bathroom or your, your sink in the kitchen. Here, it's much more intense and much more problematic than that. You know, some time ago, uh, my husband saw some little children trying, struggling with jerry cans. You know, they're very heavy, and we noticed all the girls are always carrying heavy jerry cans full of water. I had a lot of pain. I had headache, backache. I had abdominal pain. Eh? Whenever I carry a jerry can, I feel pain, too much pain. You go out. You walk in the dark. Uh, to wherever the water source is. Could be a borehole, could be a stream, but it's dangerous. And if they needed eight jerry cans, that meant they had to travel there eight times there, eight times back. Sometimes their eight hours a day is spent in just collecting the water that they need for the day. It, they carry them on their heads, they carry them on their shoulders. It, is, it causes structural problems, structural damage to the skeletal being of the, of the mama and it, it manifests itself in many problems. I have young, young children and carrying a big jerry can of water on the head. It is really not good for their health. If I go for water by myself, it is a long distance. It's one mile and a half. If I go, coming back, the chest is paining the head because the jerry can is heavy. One City's water cart is designed to eliminate the stresses on the body and get more water to their homes more efficiently. Before we have been suffering a lot carrying a big jerry can of water and the day you can carry like five, it is too tiresome. Now that I've got this cut, it's going to be simple for me to carry even 10 jerry cans a day because I just carry and it does not affect my body. This water card has really helped, helped me a lot. It was very easy for me. I could just move like this. Eh? When I have got this water card, my life has changed completely. Since I got this card, I actually am now comfortable. Now I can just push the way you see me. I move with it happily. <laughs> to my home. So it has really simplified our work. And so the water cart has been wonderful because um, not only does it take the, the wear and tear on their bodies away, because they put these jerry cans right in the, in the cart, they are taking half the amount of trips and it's taking less time also because they're not carrying them. So even if they still need to take four trips because they need eight cans, it's taking less time uh, for them to go back and forth and they can get all the water that they need. Now with that, we have got this cart, they are going to be carrying water without any problem. My home is now very happy and I'm also free. I just carry my cart, I put my two jerry cans, I come back while pushing, not carrying on the head. I can't even express my happiness to you, but I'm really excited. And may the God who created the earth give abundantly the blessings to the donors. I thank my friend Sarah, Sarah for giving me this chance. If I get the chance of talking to Sarah, I would thank her that please may God bless you abundantly. Can God continue serving you Sarah? I'm so grateful. I thank One, one City Ministry, all the sponsors for work well done. They are so excited about having these water carts and it's, it just warms my heart when we're driving down the road somewhere and we see women with their, with their cart and they have, you know, full of jerry cans and they're just smiling from ear to ear. There are a lot of ways for people to get involved with, with what we do here and, and without even having to move to Africa. But there are lots of ways to partner with us, whether it's our medical clinic, whether it's our water carts, 
Um, we're always looking for financial partners. Honestly, you have to run a ministry with money. And I never thought that in ministry I was gonna have to work so hard at fundraising, <laughs> but we spend a lot of our time doing that when I really wanna be out with the people and doing more with the people. Come and see what we're doing with your money. You know, don't, don't just partner and, and just send your money off blindly. Um, come and see, come and check us out. I think we do ministry a little bit differently than a lot of other places. And I love to instill that new way into people that they can take back to the States and, and become ambassadors for the people here and for One City Ministries.